This series is going to walk you through the new awesome technology stack that I'm using. So the technologies I'll be walking you through are GraphQL, Apollo, Hazura. Hazura is deployed on Heroku. We'll be building our components with React. We have a slice or a tiny bit of backend built in Node.js. And we'll be using Cypress for test automation or for test end-to-end -end testing. And finally, a good sprinkling of Vim. Now you're probably familiar with GraphQL and or you've heard of GraphQL. Um, what I like about GraphQL is it allows the client or the consumer to say what data it wants to receive back. And the GraphQL server says, yep, here you go. Here's all the data you've asked for. So in this example, we can see the first time around a component might ask GraphQL server for if we're talking about uh, people and their profiles, maybe it requests just the first name and last name. Now the second time around, B component, he might ask for first name and last name, but also please tack on ID, any pictures the user may have, and also their address. I think the point is we as an API don't know what uh, clients are going to be using data for. We don't know what they're going to ask us for. So it's best for them to tell us what they need and we're flexible for it. I've seen quite a few times in the wild in real industry where APIs expose parent-child relationships and there'll be scenarios where you've got a child and you need to get the parent or you've got the parent and you need to get the child but the API does not expose that, which really sucks. And it's you don't know what sequence or ordering or relationships that you're going to need. So GraphQL solves that. And by the way, if you find this helpful or exciting, please like and subscribe down below. Another thing that's been bugging me with my recent builds is all the layers that go into building just a read on the database. One of the things I'm aiming for on this build is to try and avoid using a backend as much as possible. Until I need to do some sort of business logic or multi-step thing, Hazura and its out-of-the-box GraphQL mapping to database is going to suit me fine for CRUD operations as well as simple out-of-the-box validations that can be set at a database level. Right, enough of the chit-chat, on to looking at the website. We're going to be working on a website called Community Raves and Community Raves, the idea behind Community Raves is a place that people can go to share, I guess, their reviews and I'm treating reviews as positive only. There can be no bad reviews here. So we're treating these as, in the world of when you have a rant or a rave, a rave is a positive thing, so I'm just going with raves. So Community Raves is going to be a collection of people in your community that are raving about a great service that they've had. So in Community Raves, users will be able to select their community. Once their community has been selected, they can go and add a rave. Adding a rave really is looking up or adding a new company and tagging the company. So maybe maybe tag to plumbing or heating. You'd add your rave and submit. Then other users can see your rave that you've added. You can see that as you're typing, it's looking up behind the scenes quickly. Um, company names for matching company names. When you're typing in the uh, tags or categories, it's looking up uh, the categories to suggest if they already exist. This UI is done with Material UI. I love the look of it. I love how the uh, things transition. You can also see how fast this thing is. This is running off a mostly free uh, instance on Heroku. And because I'm not sending, I'm hardly sending anything across the wire, just a GraphQL packet over HTTP, which I'll show you in a second, um, and the page is already loaded in memory, it, it runs so fast.
You can see here that the actual transfer amount is, is in bytes, a few bytes rather than kilobytes or megabytes. And cracking the GraphQL um, response open, you can see it's really easy to read. You can see what the intent of what's going across the wire is, what the payload is. I will be walking you through the data creation, uh, going through how to query your data, like has your has GraphQL woven into it. GraphQL is a, a lovely way of seeing what data is available to you and how to build your queries. Maybe it's pronounced graphical. So there's some really cool benefits to this architecture. Uh, as I've mentioned, there's no back end. So in theory, half the work. Um, from an HTT point of view, we only have one verb now. There's post. Post handles are creations or mutations, as well as reads, which is it simplifies things a bit. Um, it's great that it lets the view drive what data we receive. Um, Apollo is awesome in the sense that if it's seen the data before in a previous query, it doesn't re-query it again if you've configured it correctly. How I've got it set up, it's all cloud-based. It's very easy to deploy on Heroku. Uh, in fact, you can set up a free developer instance, super easy. It's very easy to build queries through GraphQL and JWT integration comes a standard with Hazura, which is awesome. So if you like this or it excites you, uh, please subscribe and like and look forward to seeing the rest of the videos.